Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer, Mazakalus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Nevrosa Primal Ritual VR game on the Steam Store for every headset. It normally retails for $19.99. I got a free Steam key through the Steam Curator Connect program to review this game. And this is the very start. You can either choose to load a new game, continue, or choose autosave. That's very important to know because I actually experienced a game breaking bug that forced me to use an autosave and it lost a lot of my progress and i didn't know about the manual save option so the way that you manually save in this game is very important to know that's why i'm including this part of my review you actually go to that tent and i'm going to show a video of this coming up and you just put the cylinder into that little box look into it and that's how you manually save so it's very important so please look at this part and save often this is your main hub area this is where you walk around to the different parts to put on the electricity put on the lights and find the little ritual towers and then finally go get to the big boss fight and then the little post fight so what is this game uh, this game is a little bit difficult to describe i'm not sure exactly the best way to describe it I would say the closest thing this comes to is a walking simulator. The reason I say walking simulator is because the puzzles are very basic, the interactions are very simple, and the combat is also repetitive and basic. So there really isn't much to this game, and it is basically just walking from one area to the other, backtracking, then walking to another area, backtracking and there's a lot of that uh there's these upgrades here that you see but uh to be honest with you i finished the whole game without ever using them so they're pretty much useless uh they might make the game easier but there's so much grinding involved to unlock these upgrades and they're really not needed so i wouldn't even bother with that um the graphics are not the best uh, a lot of the textures are muddy there's poor lighting uh, you do have full locomotion with uh, snap turning and there's also a teleportation option there's also comfort vignette options and you have also lots of different uh, graphical settings as well as sound settings as well as just different performance settings so that is good about this game and i'll say something nice about this game i did really like the atmosphere this game has a good atmosphere and it has a good setup so this has a little bit of a steampunk alien world vibe mixed with some hp lovecraft slash occult vibe to it and you do have this creepy feeling throughout and yeah it, it, it does have original assets and just some really weird stuff that's really trippy and i found it very cool so it does have a, like a nice mood and a nice atmosphere unfortunately it just never goes anywhere the story is just paper thin um there really isn't much to it it's just a few texts and a few audio portions and that's it as far as story so there there really isn't much here and like i mentioned a lot of the game is just go from point a to point b and then backtrack and then go from point b to point c and then backtrack so yeah uh i didn't really like this game and i experienced several bugs one of the bugs that i experienced is that little cube that you see there just disappeared on me and that little cube is necessary to open up some of the towers and i was at one of the towers that i needed the cube for and there was nowhere to be found uh, i had no idea where it was couldn't find it so i had to quit and restart and unfortunately, like I mentioned, that's when I found out that it didn't really do a good job of saving my progress. I was actually just almost at the very end of the game. Uh, I had just finished a big boss fight and it didn't save it. Even though I beat the boss fight, it didn't save it. So I had to attempt the boss fight again. And unfortunately, the second time I tried, I failed. The third time I tried, I failed. Finally, on the fourth try. So first time I tried it, easy, no problem. And for whatever reason, I had much more problems the second and third try. Finally, I was able to beat it. Now, this is like the post big boss fight fight. And this was actually pretty easy because all you have to do is go to the center of that little ritual location and you go back to full L. So this is really uh, a dumb fight. And 
this is a lot of the game. This is really the combat in this game, believe it or not. You're just shooting a bunch of spiders. There's big spiders, there's small spiders. But, you know, they have bad hitboxes. And there's lots of clipping issues. The spiders will go through several objects. You'll go through several objects. And the spiders just jump towards you and go towards you. And they have bad hitboxes. And the bullets on your gun go really slow. And yeah, there's pathing issues on top of that. A lot of the interactions are just super not polished. And just not very good. And yeah... Like I said, I just wasn't having fun. The The bugs really brought down the experience uh, to me. But I was able to finish the game. It took me a little over three hours. Uh, overall, I would say this is a 5 out of 10. It's just not very good. Maybe if they polish the game up, if they update the game to make it work properly, I would give it a 6 out of 10 at the most. But it's just not a very good game. And this is the very abrupt ending of the game, believe it or not. It just ends like this. And yeah, that leaves a bad taste in your mouth when you get to the end of the game. And this, that's that's it? This is this is the end? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't recommend it except if, if you find it on a deep, deep sale, then yeah, go for it. Otherwise, skip it.